you read that title right, that title right, a cringy dude on YouTube is going to talk about how much he loves Chi-Chi from Dragon Ball. Before I start, I'm aware that there is a huge group of people who love her because of not safe for work type content. I've created that type of content and will continue to. However, this is not about that. So if you're in here expecting like, oh, God, she's so hot, whatever, you're not going to find that. Although uh, she is a very beautiful character. Also, if you prefer Bulma, 18, Videl, or any other character in the series, or any other female character, I should say, specify, this isn't the video for you because I'm not going to list reasons why you should like her. These are reasons why I like her. And yeah, this is going to be a pretty short-ish video because I don't really need a whole lot of words to explain why I like her, but I'm just going to go ahead and start. One of the main reasons I love her so much is because she nurtured Gohan. Gohan, as a lot of people know, is one of my favorite characters in the series, and he catches a bad rap these days because he's not the ultimate strongest, oh, he's not doing any kind of super powerful things like his father, he's not Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, or whatever. Completely ignoring the fact, Gohan doesn't really like to fight. He said so himself. He prefers not to fight. It's something he enjoys recreationally. It's something he's very good at. Just because he's really good at it doesn't mean that that's something he should do, especially if he doesn't have passion for it. It's like when someone says to me, oh, hey, I want to draw. Well, you got to have passion and, you know, you also got to be good at it, but passion is key. What Gohan has a passion for is his studies. Who gave him that passion? His mother. Who was his mother? Chi-Chi. She made sure from a young age that she did not want her son to have the same experiences that his father did. I like to believe that one of the main reasons is because she saw Goku nearly die in the fight against Piccolo at the World Tournament at the very end of Dragon Ball. And she saw, you know, Goku on the, on the brink of death. And she decided, you know what? I don't want that for my kid. So I'm going to give him brains as well as brawn. Because, you know, she obviously allowed him time to go outside and play like a normal child. She wanted him to be a normal child, unlike his father. And that's not to say that, you know, she hated Goku because of this. No, she actually preferred Goku the way he is. If you look at how she reacts whenever Goku says something to Gohan, like, hey, Gohan, maybe you should study. She's concerned for Goku because she honestly prefers him to be the way he is. He's naive, but not stupid. He's a genius when it comes to martial arts, and he's street smart, I would say, but he is not smart to the ways of, you know, books. He, he's, he's not, he doesn't have that kind of knowledge. Which is, you know, that's a different discussion entirely. Really, I should make a Gohan video and a Goku video, but this is a Chi-Chi video. But anyways, beyond this, she is strong as hell and bold. The first time we see Chi-Chi, she's running away from this giant dinosaur. And, you know, we're thinking, hey, you know, Goku's going to show up and save her, and, you know, they're going to get together. No, what does she do? She gets that big-ass blade from her helmet, cuts that damn thing's head off, and then burns it with her laser. She also took on the Red Ribbon Army single-handedly. Maybe not single-handedly, but she definitely laid waste to a lot of them. She was a match for Goku at the World Tournament. Seriously, she, she is not to be messed with. She, serious, she can put up a fight. And, as far as being bold, even against somebody who is more powerful than her. Remember in the movie Dead Zone? She straight up, she was ready to square up against those dudes who were coming to abduct Gohan. She was straight ready. And fast forward to the Garlic Jr. saga. Apparently she knows K.O. Ken. How? I don't know. Maybe Goku taught her. <laughs> uh, but, you know, beyond that, she, you know, that goes into another thing. She is a loving person. Everybody says that she's a nag. Oh, she nags Goku to constantly, you know, not fight. Oh, she nags Gohan to constantly study. She's a nag. She's overbearing. She's like Adrian to Rocky. I, you shouldn't be fighting so much. Well, really, she had kind of a point if you think about it. She just wanted them to be safe. She wanted the family to be whole. Did you see how crushed she was when she learned Goku died at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z and at the Cell Saga? She was just, she was devastated. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> she... <laughs> It's amazing how much this woman has put up with 
and yet still continues to stay faithful to her man. Like, come on. She's a great cook, which, of course, is the reason Goku married her in the first place. That's my personal thought. Goku married her because, oh, she's a wonderful cook. She can do this. She can do that. And what have you. It's just... It, people like to say that, oh, Goku doesn't know what love is. I like to think that he stayed for the food and ended up growing to love her as a person. Because he clearly loved that she could fight. Remember when she told the story of her first date when uh, when they were flashbacking uh, on Gohan's history? She she no wait wrong episode. It was when Gohan was getting ready to go on his first date with that chick Angela, who found out about his Saiyan identity. She talked about her first date with Goku and how you know leading it. Oh, you you're supposed to do the most pleasurable thing and coax me into doing it. What does Goku do? Starts sparring with her and she starts fighting back and she's it's one of the greatest first dates ever. People like to forget that Chi-Chi can fight. Which, by the way, I'm going to throw this in there. If Chi-Chi got announced for Dragon Ball Fighters, I would not complain. However, I understand why she wouldn't be in there. However, I still think that she'd be a great addition. If not Fighters, then Xenoverse 3. Or, you know, maybe they'll do another Xenoverse 2 DLC pack. <laughs> no, but seriously. I'd like to see her represented in fighting games more. Or games in general. Like, let us play as her. Like, give us a Dragon Ball game. Anybody remember Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, where you played as Goku and it was a side-scrolling beat-em-up? Give us another one of those, but let us play as Chi-Chi. Not just Chi-Chi, but Krillin. Let us play as Piccolo. Like, give us side stories, Master Roshi, all that. What? A, yeah, you get it. She clearly cares the most about her children. She will do anything for them. To the point that she even started to be a little more lax in the later years. She trained Goten. And speaking of which, remember how Goten turned Super Saiyan while he was sparring with her? And how she took a full force Super Saiyan punch to the face? Yeah. She did that. <laughs> Not only that, but she's wicked strong. Like... Remember when she tossed out um, that evil teacher who was abusing the hell out of Gohan? I know in um, the dub they say something like, oh, he, oh, your father's this, your father's a bum, and that's what set her off. But in reality, if you watch the Japanese dub, what really set her off was that he was just completely humiliating Gohan, saying he was, you know, he, he's harder to cheat than a mere monkey. He was beating the hell out of him with that whip, and she just straight threw him out. And if you remember, the Ox King told a story about how she did that to him once, too. The Ox King. Speaking of which, Chi-Chi's a princess, and a lot of people seem to forget this fact. They really seem to forget it. Well, and to be fair, the series itself tends to forget that. But, yeah. <laughs> FYI, she's a princess. And princesses are cool, aren't they? Technically, that makes her a queen, which would make Goku a king. A fire mountain. But fire mountain doesn't exist, I guess. She definitely cares about wealth, but not because she's greedy or a gold digger, but because she just wants to be well off, you know? Everybody's like, oh, she nags Goku and Super to work. Oh, poor Goku can't fight. Well, it's because they were poor. For years, they were living off of the Ox King's riches, but after a point, her father's riches run out and they need to make their own money. What happens? She tells Goku to get a job. And then, you know, Hercule comes in and bails him out with that prize money. Ah, it's ridiculous. But, yeah, anyway, these are the main reasons why I love this character. Like, notice how I didn't mention anything about her looks. I know a lot of people really prefer the uh, kid outfit she wore, you know, the bikini armor. And they're like, why did she have to move to the dresses? If you remember correctly, in that s it's a picture that the Ox King showed or was hanging, and it was of baby Chi-Chi on her mother's lap. And what was the mother wearing? A dress similar to the ones that she wears as an adult. Seriously. Those of you who prefer her bikini armor, stop. Stop. You can like it, but saying that she should have kept it is just asinine. Just step. But anyways, I think those are all the main reasons I can think of off the top of my head why I love her so much. I know I'm probably excluding a lot of classic moments, like when she threatened Master Roshi with a sword after he claimed Goku was scared of her. 
<laughs> that was pretty damn funny, I'm not going to lie. And I'm probably also forgetting a lot of headcanon stuff, but really, what do you guys think? Those of you who love Chi-Chi, be sure to comment down below. Why do you love her? You know, because maybe I'll think of more reasons beyond the ones I listed in this video. Hell, I will respond to each and every one of your comments. <laughs> when I have the time, of course. But anyways, that's been this video. It was a little sloppy. I apologize for that. I'm pretty new to these sort of video essay type things. I'm not really taking this too seriously. This is just something I'm doing for fun. Think of it like a video journal, almost a podcast type deal. But uh, yeah, these are my main reasons for why I love this character so much. And I do hope that you share the same sentiment. If you don't, understand that it's nothing personal. I just... This is just how I feel. If you prefer other characters, hey, that's awesome. I love me some Android 18. I love me some Videl. In fact, I think in a future video, I'm going to list reasons why I love Videl and or how super absolutely butchered her character. Seriously, GT got her character better than Dragon Ball Super did. Make Videl great again. But let's keep loving Chi-Chi the best girl. The best girl. <laughs> I've been Joker216, and I am signing off for now. Enjoy the video. Watch the rest of my stuff. Seriously, I do drawing. I do drawing videos. And here and there, I'll talk about things. And I might play some games on here. I don't know. This isn't exactly my first video, but it won't be my last. <laughs> I'll see you guys.